Defining Lilith is almost impossible from our point of view, because Lilith, the Black Moon, is related to hidden, unknown and invisible superhuman powers. We can feel it, we can hear her whisper, but we cannot define her, because we don't really know her. Lilith always reminds us that we cannot control her. The best is to make her part of ourselves and allow her to act in collaboration with the rest of the parts of our being. When we do this, Lilith transforms in a true instinctive expert who perfectly uses the energies of the sign where she is and who, when necessary, does what we dare not do. Wherever Lilith is in our birth chart, she describes a number of qualities that are expressed in a different way that we are used to. It seems that Lilith unleashes a wild part of our nature. In Capricorn, Lilith is, is disciplined and ambitious. The reasons for this? We need to read the entire birth chart. What we can be sure is that there is a strong part of our nature that wants responsibility, and this comes out viscerally. I see Lilith's influence as essential to accessing our genius. However, Lilith's energy is very intense and if we don't understand it, we can fight it. Will we be able to integrate Lilith's energy without self-destructing? Lilith in Capricorn is often associated with strong ambition and determination. Those with this placement tend to set solid goals and work diligently to achieve success. They are typically disciplined and responsible in their actions. They have the ability to take on responsibilities and fulfill their commitments. Lilith in Capricorn imparts resilience and persistence in the pursuit of their goals. They can overcome obstacles and challenges with determination. They have a good capacity for self-control and can maintain composure even in stressful situations. The pursuit of success can sometimes lead to an obsession with work and material fulfillment. This can cause them to neglect other areas of their lives, such as relationships and health. Lilith in Capricorn sometimes has difficulty expressing emotions or showing vulnerability. They can maintain a facade of strengths even when they are struggling emotionally. Determination and desire for success can lead to social isolation. They may be so focused on their goals that they neglect personal relationships. They may struggle with excessive perfectionism and be very critical of themselves. This can generate stress and self-demand. The important thing with Lilith is not to be afraid or ashamed to see that wild part of human nature. The more we get to know her, the more we understand her, and she finally shows her constructive potential. Lilith, by nature, expresses the qualities of the sign she is without apology. The conflict is within us. I already said that it is very important to read the rest of the bird chat to see more clearly the context in which Lily moves. For example, Lilith is able to show us the dark side of our moon. When we don't nourish ourselves as needed, Lilith becomes a constant and sharp reminder that keeps letting us know that there is something that is lacking in our lives. Therefore, learning Lilith's language is essential to avoid confusing her howl with something devilish. 
Lilith is grotesque in our eyes, but in reality, she is a goddess who watches over the shadows, which is nothing more than a world unknown to us. Lilith is as much as a mother as Eve, but she has other matters to attend to. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you would like to share your experiences, leave them in the comments. Until next time.